Hello to uh, part two of this video. To go over the details of this board, this is a uh, Gateworks GW2348-4. I bought this board on e uh, eBay. It was uh, used and cheap. This board uses an Intel Xscale IPX425 533 MHz processor, 64 MB of RAM, and has four mini PCI card slots. This board was actually kind of a dumbed down version. Uh, didn't have a uh, real time clock and a few other things on it. The uh, Intel IPX425 processor is an ARM5 processor designed for networking support. Since this board has uh, four mini PCI cards, it uh, works great for uh, backhauling wireless, which I will go into more detail in the next video. In order to program this board, you will need uh, two devices to plug into your computer through. Well, obviously you need to power it too. Uh, one of them is uh, uh, Ethernet. The other one is uh, Serial. But uh, since no one in the 21st century uses Serial anymore, I have a Serial USB cord. I will uh, also post the uh, original guide for OpenWRT to install it on this specific type of board. Um, first, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, create the uh, TFTP server for this device. Basically, uh, you want to get that device or the server running pointed to the uh, correct directory. Make sure you also uh, set your uh, Ethernet card to a static IP. The static IP that I chose will be the uh, 192.168.1.3. And uh, that will be the same IP address that you're going to use on the actual board itself to, you know, your default server, as they call it. That's where you pull the uh, files through the TFTP server. Uh, next, it's going to pull up your uh, terminal of choice. Um, I'm going to use HyperTerm for this. I can't move that over. and uh, choose the serial device that you have. This is going to be on COM16, the one that is signed for that USB device. Uh, choose your baud rate, set it to uh, 115200. Um, flow control, none. I think it kind of conflicts with the actual uh, messages being pasted and moved around on there. Uh, so go ahead and uh, initialize that. Let me turn off the board first. So you'll see that with the board unplugged, with no power, uh, nothing is you know going on on with that. Once you initialize power, and this one I have right now is power over Ethernet on it. So I just plug my Ethernet and automatically kicks on power. You could also do the uh, DC jack if you need to. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in the power. Once you do that, you hit the uh, Control C. That'll actually uh, kill it and stop it at red boot. Once it's stopped at red boot, we're going to go ahead and uh, start programming this board. Uh, you're going to first uh, flash the NAND to nothing, so you're going to erase everything on it. And I'm going to move this over here so you can see the actual file being transferred over when it comes about. Uh, then uh, after we do that, we're going to go ahead and load the uh, file, and uh, we'll also post uh, the, you know, information, well you can probably get that on the guide from the install or from uh, OpenWRT's documents, but uh, it'll tell you what files to download. This one right here is going to be the uh, kernel file that I'm pulling from the uh, TFTP server, aka the you know computer right next to it. And it pushed it down. It's Ethernet, so it's kind of quick. Next I'm going to go ahead and write that actual uh, kernel to the uh, operating or to the NAND. Next we're going to go ahead and pull the uh, root FS. Uh, it's going to be basically where all the actual files, like your uh, non-kernel files, the application above that. So it's yanking that file. It's going to be a bit bigger file since it 
contains a lot of information, not just the drivers and everything else like the kernel has. Um, and then now we're going to go ahead and write it to the uh, NAND. In the guide, it specifically talks about making sure that you have the uh, correct amount of file system set on that. Uh, it's basically in hex, so you, you want to you could calculate it if you need to, but by default, the guide's pretty much precise for these boards. You gotta just copy and paste the guide. Uh, so it's basically going to go ahead and write it to the sectors above the kernel, which is the free space allocated. And uh, this one's going to take a bit longer to uh, write to do the fact that you know, a bigger file and writing to these NAND devices aren't really the fastest. Um, once that's uh, installed, we're going to go ahead and then uh, follow it up with a uh, reboot. And then it's going to come back up into the actual uh, operating system side of things. Uh, you're going to see that you're uh, open WRT where you could go in there and configure you know, everything you need to um, basically uh, create what device you want, wireless mesh, um, if you want to plug into, if this had USB support, you can make it a file, you know, a file server, plug a USB device into it. Uh, possibilities are kind of un unlimited with OpenWRT, so this is just pretty much a full-fledged Linux uh, operating system. I'm trying to fill in a little time since it's going to write to it. It should be done in a few seconds. And then you could also, um, in that guide too, it talks about uh, configuring the uh, device. Oh, there it is. I'm going to go ahead and type in reset and then it's going to go ahead and do a full-on reboot. Uh, you also, if you get this board brand new, you want to configure the uh, fconfig and configure it to you know, boot to uh, the specific uh, device, the, uh, the scripting to actually get to the kernel. Uh, the other part you need to is, uh, which um, if it's brand new, you want to fconfig and tell where the uh, TFTV server is in. And now it's just booting into the actual uh, OpenWRT. Uh, it's relatively quick. Right now, I think it's getting to the part where uh, it sees that it's a brand new write to the NAND. So it's going to go ahead and clear off the other sectors in the, the NAND for a free allocated space, which this takes a while. So that's pretty much it for this. And then I'll have a follow-up video talking about the uh, uh, Batman mesh networking that uh, basically gives you the capability to uh, create a uh, bunch of wireless devices and uh, not really lose much bandwidth at all from that if, if you do it right.